Welcome, everyone. Economist William Gibson observed that the future is already here. It's just not evenly distributed. With this conference, we have marked the full opening of the commercial space era with the Virgin Galactic, Blue Origin, and SpaceX Inspiration4 mission that returned less than a week ago. In 2019, now retired Colonel Kevin Kick noted that commercial space is driving and sustaining military space. The economics of private commercial space are emerging. The criticality of military space will drive new and unpredictable behaviors. At the beginning of this conference, Colonel Eileen Collins warned of flawed thinking, the thinking that led to the disaster with the Columbia shuttle. She also noted that all organizations have cultural problems and that we need to escape from our flawed thinking to be able to reach and understand those challenges. This morning, Dr. Robert Zubrin shared the choice of seeing scarcity or abundance in the approach to human space exploration. If there's nothing else that you should remember from this conference, it's looking at issues such as space traffic management and the increasing and dangerous amount of space debris that is about our, our world. The distribution of resources and the critical need for diversity and inclusion in that thinking call for greater thinking, a higher and elevated level of thinking in terms of our conceptualization. We are very thankful for your participation in this conference and hope that it's met your expectations. It's certainly uh, been ex exciting and, and eye-opening in many aspects. The proceedings that you have participated in will be recorded or have been recorded and will be available in the near future as an educational resource for your reference through the conference website. This conference will reconvene September 22nd through 23rd, 2022. I'll repeat that date. Uh, we will reconvene September 22nd through 23rd in next year, 2022. In the meantime, consider publishing your work, your research, in the Space Education and uh, Strategic Applications Journal and encourage your colleagues to do the same. There's never been a time that the codification of knowledge and the wisdom that needs to be derived from that is, is urgent and more than ever. So please think of doing that. We want to thank, uh, give a special thank to the American Public University faculty and staff, especially Dr. Nicole Drumhiller, Ms. Lindsay Larson, Dr. Ed Albin, Dr. Arnold Nikogosian, Dr. J.D. Polk, Dr. Mark Riccardi, Dr. Ahmed Nauman, and a special thanks and appreciation to our faculty and to Dr. Melissa Lane, who helped advance the overall conference program. We truly appreciate and are thankful for the Policy Studies Organization for facilitating this conference, Dr. Paul Rich, and especially Mr. Daniel Gutierrez Sandoval who has been phenomenal in organizing us and, and bringing us together and helping us communicate. On behalf of American Public University System with American Military University and American Public University, we wanna thank you and hope that you'll stay in touch. Have a great rest of your day, afternoon or evening. Take care.